everyone. I hope you find it well. Today's lesson will be the effect of the surface area on the rate of the reaction. Let's do a quick review first. What is the rate of a reaction? The rate of a reaction is how quickly the reaction happens. We have fast reactions and slow reactions. Iron rusting is a chemical reaction with a slow reaction rate. Wood burning is a chemical reaction with a fast reaction rate. We did last time the collision theory. You, can, you can't react if you do not collide, we, meant, we said. Three necessary requirements in order for a reaction to take place. The first one, the molecules must collide to react. If two molecules simply collide, however, they will not always react. Therefore, the occurrence of a collision is not enough. Second, there must be enough energy, energy of the activization, for the two molecules to react. This is the idea of the transition state. If two slow molecules collide, they might bounce off one another because they do not contain enough energy to reach the energy of activization and overcome the transition state, the highest energy point. The third one is the molecules must be oriented with the respect uh, to each other correctly. For the reaction to occur between two colliding molecules, they must collide in the correct orientation and possess a certain minimum amount of energy. The collision theory, the chemical reaction only occur between particles when they collide. There is a minimum amount of energy with which colliding particles need in order to react. If the colliding particles have less than this minimum energy, then they just bounce off each other and no reaction occurs. The minimum energy we said it's called the activization energy. Not effective collision. We have NO3 gas and CO gas will give NO2 gas and CO2. Reactants moving slowly. Molecules bounce and no reaction. Effective collision we have reactants energy is high and oriented right way. The reaction will happen. Once again, the orientation of the collision. As you see on the slide, the first part, the reaction happens, on the second part, does not happen. The activization energy, the energy that must be overcome in order to, for a chemical reaction to occur. The activization energy is the minimum energy necessary for a specific chemical reaction to occur. For the chemical reaction to have a, not a noticeable rate, there should be a noticeable number of molecules with the energy equal or greater than activization energy. The sparks generating by striking steel against a flint provide the activization energy to initiate the combustion in a Bunsen burner. A little activization energy is added with the aid of a weed burner. What is activization energy? Here we, on this slide we have two graphs. On the first graph, not enough kinetic energy for reactants to leap over the reaction barrier. And on the second one, a hot reaction process showing reactants leaping over the activization energy. So we, on the second part, we added energy to it, to make it happen. Once again, we have the graph that we had done in the previous lessons. Only collisions with enough energy react to form products, the critical amount of energy to make the reaction proceed. The reactants need to have an en a high energy in order to break that activization energy. This graph is for an exothermic reaction. And the second one is for an endothermic reaction. The difference of the activization energy from exothermic and endothermic is that the endothermic has a higher activization energy and needs a lot of more energy in order for the reaction to start. What are the effects that are of the rate of reaction? The first one, the effect of particle size. Large marble chip, is, it is an experiment. The effect of the particle size, we have small marble chips here. Reducing the size of the particles increases the surface area. 
increases the number of collisions per second, increases the number of effective collisions, increases the rate of the reaction. Increasing the surface area of a solid, a solid in a solution can only react when particles collide with the surface. The bigger the area of the solid surface, the more particles can collide with it in per second. The powder has the largest surface area and will have the fastest reaction rate. We have a reaction here. Magnesium plus hydrogen will give magnesium ion plus hydrogen molecule. A reaction between magnesium metal and a dilute acid like hydrochloric acid, increasing the number of the collisions per second increases the rate of the reaction. Hydrogen ions can hit the outer layer of the atoms, but not in these in the center of the lump. Where, where is the magnesium metal? With the same number of atoms now split into lots of smaller bits, there are hardly any magnesium atoms which the hydrogen ions can get at. For homework, I will send you a worksheet via email. Deadline of the worksheet will be Thursday, 30th April, and on, 4th, on May 4th, you, we will have a quiz. If you have any questions, please do ask. Thank you.